So if you've clicked on this video, my bet is that you wanted to become more consistent with a drive. You maybe want to hit it a little bit straighter. You want to hit it a little bit longer. Now, rather than me jump in and show you all these things, what I want to do is I want to bring you in on a live lesson with a student of mine, Leo, who ultimately was hitting it all over the place, lost super amount of confidence with driver, not really bringing it out, out on the golf course. Now, by the time we finish, we basically increase his yardage by an astronomical amount. I won't tell you what it is because you're going to see it in a second. But we did it in a, a number of different stages. So we started off, first of all, improving his contract, contact with, by improving his setup. Then what we did is we showed him how to kind of create a more accurate style swing by just focusing on tweaking this, what I call a swing circle. And then third and finally, we then said, once we've got him striking it, got him more accurate, we then ramped up his power with one simple auditory cue that anybody can use. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this week's lesson. Now, before I get into the video, look, if you're new to the channel from your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. I release lessons just like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. But you never have to remember a thing. I'll always put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. So without further ado, come and have a look exactly how to generate some effortless yards. I see what you mean though, with the driver. It's shocking, it's like, I, mm. this was me Sunday, like I couldn't hit it yeah, yeah, yeah. at all. A bit like that. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Okay, one more time. <laughs> it's proper just all over the place. There's a weird conundrum I'm in because I'm looking at it and I'm like, I'm barely making any distance. And then when I try harder, it, it gets even worse. Yeah, so then yeah, I'm sort yeah. of stuck in this place of yeah. not really wanting to commit to the shot. Where do you start, basically? Basically. Um, yeah. Because if I try, like, I don't know. You want to swing at it. Obviously, but. Yeah. There's no club at speed with that, though. No. See, I cast that as an alright shot for me, but it's still super low and not even that far. So here's what I'm seeing, okay? So I want you to look for us. So this is, I see this a lot with golfers struggling to get power. Yeah. Struggling to get the ball launched. I mean, you mentioned earlier off camera that you, you sky the ball up in the air yeah. sometimes as well. Yeah, and, and tends to, yeah, I've got a few marks on my driver of, you know, balls coming off the top. Yeah. So if we just look at these numbers, right? Um, Low point, you're after the golf ball, 4.9 inches after golf ball. That means that you're striking the ball, then the ground. Right. So you're striking down on it. Right. Okay. Your swing direction, which is in our interpretation is swing circle. Yeah. yeah. Your swing circle is left of target. Right. Your club face, which is a positive number here, is 5.4, open. So what you're doing is, is you are swinging left of target with an open face, hitting down on the golf ball, creating a slice. Yeah. All the fa uh, facets of a slice shot that goes generally out to the right doesn't have any difference. Yeah. yeah. What we need to do is to start to figure out what you're doing, if there's anything set up we need to look at first, is always the easy wins. And then what we need to do through impact, you look at, when I see your impact here at the moment, one thing that I, I definitely am seeing is a very much upswing. Yeah. And then any great driver of the golf ball, any great driver, you see this. You see, see these hips here? Yeah. You see these hips moving, see the middle of the hips? They're going through the shot. Yeah. See the, the upper center here, this middle bit? Yeah. That there stays slightly more behind there. Okay. Right. This is what's going to give you the natural upward strike. But what you're doing, if we, this is a this is a beautiful kind of what I call draw high beautiful shot. Right. When you're coming down, you're got yeah. them right on top of each other like this. Yeah. If anything, you might even find that this middle bit here is actually ahead of the hips. Yeah. And what we're doing is almost doing this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What we need to do is simply slices finish low. Mm -hmm. Beautiful drivers generally finish a lot higher. Okay. Okay. And they do that by getting the hips forward and they're staying this back. So it's much more of an upward strike or at least a level strike yep. versus a downward strike. Yeah. Okay. Not that. Definitely. Right. So just get yourself set up for a second. See if there's anything in setup we can do to try to achieve a much better circle. Okay. Yeah. So we're actually online, but also a, a much more neutral angle of attack through impact, okay? Because this will also help us, you know, the more that face is open, the more you're gonna to wanna to swing, to, swing to the left as well. So get yourself set. 
So the first thing I would say is this, right? We play golf, right? Yeah. We play golf on an arc. Sure. Yes. So you're stood so vertical here. I see this is so many golfers, right? You're stood. Pretty much up, right? Like this. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Now the problem is all you're gonna do now from here, look, is pick the arms up, because that's all you can do, because you can't really rotate from there because there's just no space, and you're gonna chop down on the golf ball. To create this arc, we must, to create a beautiful arc, a, a symmetry, a circle around the body, all we do is this. This is one arc, okay? This is one plane of motion. Yep. Simple, right? Brilliant. Now what we're gonna do, look, is we're gonna tip forward. So the shoulders are pointing, the, here if we were to actually look at here, we're now gonna be pointing more down towards the ground. See the angle, yeah? Now from here, I'm now gonna swing better on here. So I'm now gonna create immediately a better arc yeah. to the swing. I'm gonna be able to recruit my body to help me create this circle. If I'm up here, I can't recruit, recruit my body to help me anymore. Sure. Got it? Yeah. Swing direction's still out there. Sounding better. Yeah. Yeah. In golf, there are these spectrums that we want to work in, right? And what we know with your spectrum at the moment in terms of swing, you are in this spectrum over here. Yep. Where everything's going this way, right? All I want you to do now, in an exaggerated way, is shift, move the hips closer, the bum closer to the target, move everything this way, we're gonna exaggerate it so we can create more of this type of motion, the opposite to what you're creating, yeah? This creates slice and chop, this creates more straighter, if not draw cell shape, so I'm gonna go much higher. Cool. Okay? So just before you hit the next shot. Yeah, keep just, that in mind. Yeah, just keep that, that image in mind, okay? So. Okay. So pause that now. Think about the body. Move the body around for me. There you go, right? See the difference there? Yeah. Right? But don't, for, don't, when you do this, don't change the foot alignment because that can be cheating. So what happens is this. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people when they do this for the first time, they go like this. Yeah. That's kind of cheating. Yeah, in the sense that it doesn't really work because you could still, you'd aim right and now you do this with your body. Yeah, okay. What we're trying to do is, is we're trying to change the actual body motion to help us create this circle that can be much more online versus just do it with the feet. Okay. You got it? Now that just looked better. Yeah. There, there we, we go. go. A different shape. Yeah, completely different shape. Look at the difference there. So now suddenly, look at this. When you work on that spectrum, the low point now goes behind the golf ball, you're not chopping it. Yeah. Swing circle, a massive positive number, what's happened? It's now way out to the right. Positive yeah. means out to the right, right? You've now, minus 13 means you close the face. So the whole shape of the swing has changed. Yeah. Yeah? So what we do is, is we spend a bit of time for a second. If you can work on the spectrums of literally, okay, I'm in slice spectrum. Slice spectrum is what? Yeah, too much. That uh, way, yeah. right? I need to exaggerate and move into what I call hook spectrum there. I'm gonna set up like that, yeah? And I'm, yeah, and then what I'll do is if I start doing too much of this left after five, six, seven, eight, nine yeah. balls, yes. Yeah, tweak you, it a bit. You, you find your neutral, your, your neutral, your neutral. Sure. You got it? It's like a, almost an old radio, you tune it in. Yep. Okay, so do the same again for me. You follow, look at the difference. Yeah. Look at all I'll these. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, of course you would. Look at all these numbers completely change around. Yeah. Your swing circle now is too much this way. Right. Yeah? It, one, we want this zero, right? Right. Your face is slightly open, but now you're hitting up on the ball and we're starting to get in launch. And now with a 79, 80 miles an hour of clubhouse speed, you're getting a carry of 176 yards. Yeah. That will roll out to 210 yards. I'll take that. <laughs> you follow? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Right? So we spend time just doing this first, yeah? Yeah. And, and by the way, don't change a thing. Sure. Right? So don't try and neutralize it yet. We want to get used to really this exaggerated motion. How's that feel? Yeah, it felt really good. 
I just felt like he was coming from a place of power. Now we're talking. Yeah. Yeah? Now we're creating loads of this. Yeah. Complete the opposite to a slice. Yeah. You know, I've had people say to me, I haven't, I haven't been, a, um, I've sliced it my entire life. How, you know, how can you truly say you can change somebody in just five balls? Yeah. Of course you can. Yeah. Yeah? You just simply need to understand the spectrum that you're working in and change it. Okay, so what we'll do in a second, we'll start to work out how you can start to neutralize this a little bit and also ramp up that speed so we can get you well over 200 yards. Every time now? Yeah. Every single time you're creating a beautiful draw. I feel confident with it as well, like you can yeah. start to sort of ramp up that speed as opposed to before where I should be stuck in this fear factor of I'm not hearing it anywhere besides right or... Hey, there we go. It's pretty like the first I've hit it. There you go. 200 yards. <laughs> first I've hit it this year. <laughs> awesome. So, sorry? Furthest I've hit it this year, I think. <laughs> and, but furthest you've hit it with? Yeah, with a draw. A draw? Yeah. Okay. So now we've started to get the ball going straight. We're starting to hit, get some decent distance at 200 yards. Yep. You know, for us to push that yardage on to 220, 230, 240, yep. I think the simplest way to do that is, is think of distance as rhythm. Find the rhythm that creates the loudest noise. Okay, another one. Where to start this is, start with the club here, in front of you a bit more, over there. Start the club there, yeah. right? And then use that kind of setup, what we've just done, to start, so you, st so you basically do this. Throw the club forward, yeah? That's, that's it. Feel the, get a rhythm in this motion. Yeah. Complete that turn, the same thing. Complete, feel the rhythm. That's it. Yeah. And again, so backswing looks good. I'd like to see more hear noise at the, on the way through. Up and down. So now, listen, almost like a, uh, watch this. One and two. Okay. Say that in the words. One and, One and two. Yes. Join yeah. some auditory to this. One and two. So more or less, one and two. And two. So the and two gives you time to watch this. One and two, gives you time to load at the bottom. One part. and two. You see that? Yeah. Yeah? One. Right, okay, let's give, let's give this a go. So just in your mind, it took a bit of time this, but let's sense that rhythm. One and two. I felt good. There you go. Look. Wow. 228 yards. That's the first yards. ever hit it. <laughs> it is, isn't it, actually? That, that is. is the first you'd ever hit it. Oh, that's great. Can we go further? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good hit, I think. Get in there. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. You know, we uh, angles, low points, just a fraction after mass, tiny, tiny, you know, right? Sure. 227 now in total. This is really, really good. Is that number, the numbers helping? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. So I think, to be honest with you, we just leave it at that. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with one of your friends who could do with a little bit of help. And do me a favor, look, if you enjoy this style of lesson where I'm bringing in students, I've got lots more right here in a playlist. We cover driving, fairy woods, irons, your short game, you name it, you'll love it. Now, of course, look, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe by pressing right here. It's completely free to do so. And I'll put a free downloadable practice guide in the description box below. But until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.